All right, welcome back to another Mr. Y, the Music Room Guy music video, uh, where I'm gonna give you a tutorial on how to do some uh, cool stuff on the ukulele. Uh, today we're gonna be looking at how to play um, a new song um, that's using some chords that we haven't played any songs with yet. Um, the chords that we're gonna be using um, are C, A minor, and G. Now, if you need to go back and watch those videos to kind of work on those chords um, to make sure we really have what we're supposed to do, go ahead and go back and click on those videos. Um, I'll wait here. That's the beauty of YouTube. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to play what the song is going to sound like. Um, and I want you to figure out if you know what it is before um, I even tell you what it is. Don't look at the title of the video. I know it's there, but don't look at it. All right, here's the song. Okay, now you can look at the title of the video. Yeah, we're going to be learning Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. Um, now, if you heard in my hands, I wasn't just doing downstrokes for this song. We're going to actually talk about patterns, um, strumming patterns. And that's the patterns that you play um, when you are um, playing a song, right? Because not all songs just go down. Sometimes they have a little more rhythmic uh, persistence to them. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to learn the strumming pattern just on a C chord. So go ahead and take your ring finger and put it on C. Make sure your thumb is where it's supposed to be. And um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to demonstrate and I'm going to tell you what the pattern is. So just go ahead and listen for this one. It's down, down, up, up, down, up. Now when I say down and up, I mean the direction that you're strumming. So when I say down, you're going to strum down towards your toes. When I say up, you're going to strum up using your thumb towards your nose. Now when you strum up, you're going to use just the nail part of your thumb. You want to have this kind of back and forth thing going. Um, and it's got to stay flowing, all right? Because you don't want it to like down, down, up, up, down, up. That's a little robotic. It's a little rigid. Um, there's not a lot of musicality to it. So uh, my turn again. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Up, down, up. Go ahead and say it with me. Don't play it, just say it. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, let's play it together. Let's take it slow. One, two, and a one and two. Say it with me. Here we go. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Down, up, up, down, up. Good. Now let's take a look at the chords of the songs. The chords are A, C, G. And we're going to stay on G a little bit longer. And the way we're going to do it is A gets two strumming pattern. So down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, C, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, G. And G gets four. Two, three, four, A minor. And when it gets to shake it off, I like to just go shake it off, down, up, down, just to kind of make the rhythm go with the music. Um, so you can play along with me. I'm going to say the chords out loud. I'm going to go a little bit slower. Um, so let's start. We start the song on an A minor. And one, two, and one, and two, and here we go. Down, up, down, up, down, up, A minor, C. G. 
shake it off, shake it off. The turn to in the place, gonna play, 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 play. Hate is gonna hate, 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 hate. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. Shake it off, shake it off. So that's how the song goes. All right. If that was a little too fast for you, you can always slow it down in the uh, corner of the video. Um, make sure you practice at home. If you have um, Spotify or YouTube or whatever, look up the song and you can play the song along with uh, the recording that Taylor Swift does. You could probably turn the radio on right now and find that song playing. Um, just keep in mind that the song, um, the actual recording of the song, um, is quite a bit faster than we're taking it. The actual speed of the song is probably... Uh, no. It's about this fast. That's about how fast the actual recording of the song goes. So you're going to have to really practice to get it up to that speed. Um, but keep practicing. Thank you very much.